Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. In this video, I have some DIY room decor ideas for you guys. I have made some DIY decor videos in the past, but none of them were really like dedicated to a video on room decor. So this is the first that I have done that is legit DIY room decor video. So hit that like button if you want to see more of these in the future. There's a lot of fun and quirky ideas and some would say it's kind of boho style, but you can of course make your own version of these to fit your own style and space. For your reference, I put links and a list of the supplies in the video description below and let's get into it. First up, here's an eye mirror, which is inspired by a bohemian mirror I saw at Urban Outfitters. I'll be making this one with five black pipe cleaners and one five inch round mirror, which I found at the craft store. I'm going to set aside two pipe cleaners for the eyelids and then the other three pipe cleaners will make the lashes. First, the top lid of the eyelashes will be longer than the bottom lid. So I'm taking two pipe cleaners and cutting those in half. Stack those four pieces together and then cut it in half one more time. Now with the other pipe cleaner, I'm going to make the bottom lashes. I'm going to cut this one in half Cut the two pieces in half again, and then cut those four pieces in half. Now I'm going to make the eye shape with the longer pipe cleaners, and I'm going to glue them together on the ends. You could also twist them together, but I actually prefer the way this looks versus the twisting because it kind of curls the pipe cleaners and makes them a little bent. Glue both ends together, and when the glue is dry, you should have a shape like this. Now I'm going to arrange all of the bottom lashes and then the top lashes, then glue the ends to the eye shape. I glued them underneath the shape so that you can't see any glue sticking out when it's hanging on the wall. Now here's the eye shape complete with lashes and ready for the mirror eyeball. Simply stretch it over the mirror and center it how you like, then place a small amount of glue on the top lid, glue it on the top rim of the mirror, and then do the same on the bottom. After the glue is dry, it's ready to look out on your wall. And I hung this up using mounting strips and it's functional as a mirror and I think it's a really fun thing popping out on the wall. On the shelf right below this, I have my aloe plant which is in a plain terracotta pot. And I'll show you an easy way to add a pop of color to your planters using pom-poms. All you have to do is add glue to the rim of the pot. I'm using glue dots here and just stick on the pom-poms. It's a really fun way to add texture and color to your shelf. And mixed with some other DIY pieces, you can make this area of your room look kind of minimal yet fun with boho vibes. I added some geometric shapes with my DIY gem and my geometric concrete planter. If you want to learn how to make all of these other pieces, you can find all of these tutorials on my channel and I will put the links in the video description below. Next up, here's how to make a pineapple wall organizer. On a large piece of foam board, I'm going to draw a very big pineapple. You can start by making the bottom shape like a big U, and then on top of that, make spiky leaves that are kind of branching out like this. Then with a craft knife and a cutting mat, cut out that shape. Be sure to use a sharp blade for this. The foam board can really eat up the blades and can make them dull fast, so you might have to switch out the blades while you're cutting this, and you might have to have some patience on this and go over the cuts twice. Remove the excess board around your pineapple shape and erase any pencil marks. I was planning on leaving the top the color of the board, but I wanted it to be a darker green, so I'm using acrylic paint to paint the top. I applied about two coats and painted the edge. Now to make the bottom half yellow, I'm going to spray paint that part and I'm going to do sort of a gradient effect so that the two colors blend together. You can make your pineapple any color you want and here is what mine looks like after the spray paint is dry. Now for the organizer part, I'm going to use two millimeter elastic cord and draw out a guide on the back of the pineapple so I know where to put it. I first drew out a border around the bottom half and then used the ruler to draw diagonal lines and I used the ruler as the width to make them evenly spaced. I then slanted the ruler to the opposite side to make diagonal lines going in the other direction. So this will give you that diamond pattern that you usually see on pineapple decor. I then marked where the lines and the border met and those will be the holes for the elastic cord. 
Then I'm going to pierce through those marks with an awl, and you can also use a nail if you don't have one. Go through both sides of the board and make sure the holes are large enough to fit your cord. Now I'm using the back as a guide and following the lines so I know where the cords will go in and out on the board. And it's good to have a little bit left over on the ends so you can later tie those into knots. You can also string a continuous piece of cord through the board, just keep in mind that will use more elastic cord. Now I'm going to repeat that process on the opposite diagonal lines. These are going on top of the other cord to create those diamond shapes, and on the back tie together any loose ends in a knot. And trim off any pieces that might stick out. While you're doing this, pull on the cord so that there's tension on the front, and if you have two cords coming through the holes, you can tie them in a knot like this so that it's large enough and it won't pull through. Now I have all the cord tied together in the knots, and here is the pineapple ready to organize on my wall. I also hung this with mounting strips, and this organizer is great for any loose pieces of paper that would otherwise make clutter on your desk or shelf, and it's a fun way to display your photos. I prefer this over a standard bulletin board, and I like the tropical vibes it adds to the room. Next, I'll show you an easy way to make a peaceful yarn hanging. I'll be using a 6 inch embroidery hoop and yarn in different colors. The type of hoop and colors of yarn is really up to you. To measure out even strands of yarn, I'm going to wrap it around my arm like this, kind of like you're reeling in a piece of rope. You could wrap it around something else, but this is just what I like to do. It doesn't have to be a perfect measurement of yarn, you can cut off as much as you want. Keep the cut off strands on the same end, and then we're going to knot the yarn on the hoop like this. Repeat that with the other colors, so you're basically knotting a loop of yarn like this. And move the knots around to arrange it how you like it. I made a total of 9 knots on the hoop, and you could leave it just like this, but if you want to add a peace sign, here's how to do it. In the middle of the hoop, you want to grab one of the ends of the yarn that's cut off, pull it to the top of the hoop, and tie a knot. And cut off any extra yarn you don't want showing. Now take another one of the cut off ends and tie it on the middle strand just like this so that it forms a peace sign. You can then tie that end in a knot on one of the strands of yarn below it. And you can either cut that end off or tuck it into the knot so it doesn't show. Embroidery hoops are really inexpensive and I like that they already come with a little hanger so you can easily hang this on a thumbtack. And now for the finishing touch, I'm going to give this yarn a haircut. And the design is totally up to you. You can try a chevron shape or a curve shape. I started out with a simple V, but then I kept cutting and messing with it, so I ended up liking this asymmetrical V shape. This didn't take long to make at all, and it will add some colorful coziness to your room. Next, I'll show you how to make a metallic moon phase banner. I've seen these made in metal, which can be difficult to make, so instead of working with metal, I thought why not try some metallic paper, and hollow metallic paper at that. I'm using this 12 by 12 sheet of gold hollow, which I found at the craft store. Flip it over and use something round to trace like a cup. Starting in the corner, I'm going to make the most of my paper and trace nine circles. Now to make the moon phase shapes, Inside the circles, you can trace the cup or freehand it to make those shapes. Think of it in steps as if the circle is moving slowly to the left. So each step, the crescent gets a little thicker and then it becomes a half moon. Then from there, you're going to go in the opposite direction. So now the circle is moving slowly to the right in steps, repeating those same shapes until you get to the full moon. So now I have a paper full of moon shapes, and I'm going to cut all of them out. If you're using the same paper size I'm using, this will give you two sets of the moon shapes. So you can actually make two banners, or one really long one. I'm going to make two banners, and this first row is going from the full moon to the crescent, and then the second banner I'm going to sort from the crescent to the full moon. Then I'm going to use this gold string to glue to the back of the shapes. You can use tape or hot glue like I'm using, and just a little dot of glue is all it needs. I did this to both of the banners and left about 2 inches between each shape. You could hang it on your wall or string it along the top of your window. 
If the moon shapes keep flipping around to the back, you can glue the string on the top of the shapes rather than the middle like I did, or put a dot of glue on the bottom so the weight of that will hold the moon shapes down and it won't flip around on you. I tied both of these to the curtain rods, and I think these metallic, hollow moon phases could add some magical bohemian vibes to your bedroom. Let me know which project was your favorite, and if you try any of these out, I would love to see pictures, so share those with me on my social links and add a hashtag SeaLemon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will put more DIY room decor ideas up here. You can check that playlist out, and I will also put a playlist that's full of organizational type DIYs. I think you'll like that one too, and I will put those links in the video description below, and I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye!